Hello everybody, this is the 5th Chuai Hai 12 performance video in the series where I will be looking at the performance of Adobe Sketch which is an app on Android. My main focus will be on how the pressure sensitivity performs as well as speed of the app on Chuai Hai 12. I will also talk a little bit about the interface too. The first thing I noticed straight away was it took longer to load compared to the previous tested apps. I first got a black screen which hung around for about 10 seconds before Adobe Sketch logo popped up. After that, another 5 seconds for it to arrive at homepage, totaling to approximately 15 seconds to open up. The small icon next to the title My Projects is for the main menu, but I did like the tutorial link available here. At the bottom right corner is a plus button, which will create a new project with 5 sketches. The app automatically opens the first sketch. More sketches can be created within the project. More projects can be created, deleted and edited to rearrange order of sketches within a project. Starting off with the right side of the interface, we have the Layers palette. Adobe Sketch has two layer creation options. Image Layer allows import of images or photos through places like the Device Gallery and Creative Cloud as well as the ability to directly take a photo and import in as a layer. Sketch layer just adds a standard drawing layer. Layer options are very basic with opacity, renaming layer, transform, duplicate layer, merge down and delete layer. The layer can also be hidden. There's nothing like alpha lock, layer clipping or even blending options. Moving to the top icons first is the undo button. Pressing and holding will also reveal the redo button. I find it very inconveniently placed for right handed people like myself. It means I will have to move away from my drawing to press it. This is the shapes tool. I love this function. I basically load the shape then Adobe Sketch shows the shape as dotted lines which you can rotate and resize before drawing along the edges of the shape. Kind of like tracing. So for example, with the French curve, I can trace around the whole shape or I can draw around part of it. These French curve templates would be fantastic for anyone drafting printable sewing patterns. This icon simply hides a layer palette. Fourth icon along has options for exporting the sketch. Being an Adobe app, it has the advantage of exporting as PSD to Creative Cloud so you can access from any device which has Creative Cloud or you can even send directly to Photoshop CC. Next is the settings icon and the only option here is shape snapping which I'm not too sure what it does and the tutorials available in app don't really explain this feature either. Finally this is the interface hideaway icon which allows you to open up the canvas space. Moving on to the left side of the canvas here, I can choose to either use pen to draw or choosing the hand disables the pen. Then there are 5 brushes and 1 eraser. Clicking on any of these brushes twice shows some adjustable settings for brush size, flow and colour. The colour palette is fairly basic and easy to use. The app does have some preset theme colours available in the second tab. And in the third tab you can create your own colour libraries. The first brush has a pencil grain effect, ideal for draft sketches. The second is a fine liner type brush. The third is more like a felt tip type brush. And fourth has an acrylic brush effect. And in all honesty, I don't like this one much. However, if you pause for a moment and take a close look at the lines produced here, you may notice that even though Adobe Sketch has no line stabilization, there isn't any real jitter in the line. Yes, it's got a little wave or wobble to it, but that's because I can't draw a perfect line unless I draw a super fast stroke. The app itself is able to work with the Chuai Hai Pen technology to produce lines with minimal jitter. The fifth brush is like my most favourite brush in this app. It's the watercolour effects brush and it imitates a real watercolour stroke. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here I've drawn a pretty big blob with very light pressure. Now I'm going to concentrate around the middle area. Just watch as the watercolour spreads outwards a tiny bit. 
then starts to dry making the intensity of the colour stronger producing that watercolour edge effect. Then working over it with another colour gives it a nice watercolour blend. When using the watercolour brush, a small fan icon appears. This basically acts as a fast dryer, so the watercolour dries quickly without the colour spreading much. Lastly, this is just a basic eraser. Let's see how Adobe Sketch performs in terms of speed and pen accuracy. During the sketching process, the lines catch up with the pen and drawing is a pleasant experience. There doesn't seem to be any lag of any sort. But by the time I get towards the end of the sketch, I noticed the app was lagging and missing pen strokes. The strokes were getting slower compared to the speed of my pen movements. I figured out why the app was slowing down, and I'll get to that part later in the video. Adobe Sketch has no layer clipping or alpha lock options. So at this point I had to decide on the colour of the final line art as I wouldn't be able to change it later on. I thought I would try out the ruler tool at this point to get perfectly straight lines for my outline. But as the app continued to get slower and lag more, sometimes the ruler would not move or rotate when using the gestures. Adobe Sketch is what I would call a minimal app. It's even more basic than MS Paint. Without a fill bucket tool, I'm left with having to colour in using the felt pen brush. This means being careful and going slow when near the edges to make sure it doesn't overflow outside of the line art. I use the watercolour brush to shade and highlight. I let the shading overflow and then erase this overflow afterwards. There are two things that need to be noted about Adobe Sketch. Firstly, there was no option or setting where I can adjust the canvas size. I actually have no idea what canvas size I'm working on right now. And two, I could zoom in and out, but I couldn't rotate the canvas using gestures. Once I was done, I exported to Adobe Creative Cloud so I could open in Photoshop on my MacBook Pro. Now this is where I figured out why Adobe Sketch was fast to begin with but then slowed down and started to lag a lot. There's no save button and the app constantly saves your progress as you draw. This way you never lose any of your work by forgetting to save because the app takes care of that for you. But on top of that, when the sketch is closed and then reopened, you can undo and continue undoing until you end up with a blank canvas. I even closed the whole app down and started it up again. It recovered the sketch I was working on and I could still continue to undo everything. That's how much data Adobe Sketch saves. While this feature is clearly a huge advantage to minimise work loss, it is simply just too much for Chuai High 12 to handle. I imagine something like the iPad Pro would be able to handle it a bit better. An additional feature this app has is the ability to flip the layers and the brushes palette from left to right. In conclusion, Adobe Sketch has somewhat similar interface to Autodesk's Sketchbook Pro, but with a seriously big limit to tools. It's the most basic app I've come across on the Android, which is not what I expected since Adobe Photoshop is such an advanced desktop app. I guess I felt I was going to experience a mini version of Photoshop, but instead what I got was a mini version of Microsoft Paint. The lines produced on Adobe Sketch with the Chuai are of quite a high standard in comparison to other apps which need some assistance from line stabilisation. However, due to the way the app saves, lag kicks in and unfortunately it can get a little annoying. I didn't use many layers for this drawing but I imagine the more layers, the more lag there will be. The best part of Adobe Sketch for me was the watercolour brush. It produces such a realistic effect. I've been planning for a while to try drawing watercolour flowers digitally and I definitely will come back to Adobe Sketch to do that at some point. 
This is it from me about added sketch on the Chuai Hai 12. If you're new to this channel, I have more Chuai Hai 12 performance videos on here which you might want to check out. But until next time, bye!